Hi, my name's Shell Banks and I'm an IBCLC infant feeding specialist and my particular interest is in the unsettled baby and supporting the families of those unsettled, colicky, crying, distressed babies, perhaps with regurgitation, maybe allergies as well. So when we're working with those families, one of the key things is to find out what the cause of that distress is. And then we can work to find a solution for that family, for that baby. Now, one of the most common causes of distress and colic and regurgitation and crying in young babies, milk-fed babies, is trapped gas. Trapped gas in the stomach, sometimes in the intestine, but in the stomach that's maybe got their through the baby's milk as they're feeding, um, air that's got in when they're crying perhaps, and perhaps air that's been fermenting in the stomach with the stomach contents with the milk or in the intestines. So if there's air trapped in the stomach and the baby is distressed, they might regurgitate a little, but actually they'll probably cry because it hurts. One of the easiest ways to deal with that is what we call wonky winding. And that's just about putting that bubble of air in the right position so that it can get up and out really easily. And the way to achieve that is by popping the baby up onto the right shoulder. So the baby is leaning up and to their left and that just puts that bubble of air underneath the outlet pipe so it can get up and out very easily, very passively without having to tap away at the baby. Obviously, if you've got the baby leaning to the other direction, just in terms of plumbing, that bubble is now trapped in a place where it can't get up and out. And crucially, if the baby is lying down, we're trying to get them off to sleep. If there is a bubble of gas trapped in their stomach, it cannot get up and out. And so they'll be unhappy and it might pass down into their intestines, which causes a whole other problem. So that's just one of the reasons a baby might be unsettled. But join us in the masterclass and you'll find out several other reasons that you might have unsettledness in a baby, whether it's crying, regurgitation, just general distress. Click around the outside of this screen and you'll find a link to the masterclass and you can join us to find out some other causes and solutions for the families you work with.